some amazing Dollar Tree home hacks that are going to beat Amazon. Oh yeah, Big Buddy. Big Buddy, you ever heard of Big Buddy? I mean, this is like a Big Buddy. I alluded to this in a previous video, but Dollar Tree, look at this. I'm feeling awesome today. I've gone to the bathroom 500 times, but I'm very hydrated. Mm -hmm. When I first saw this, I thought, do people, are we who in their right mind is gonna carry this massive thing around? This thing is, is heavy, but I, I, I have been in, and I'm, I'm actually really liking this. Let's see how far I can get by the end of this video. Oop, I guess we're at 5 p.m. Don't give up. <laughs> it's like a little water baby carrying it around like this. Nothing in this video is sponsored and anything that I talk about today will be linked in the description box below. Now, blah, 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 blah. Let's get into it. I was so surprised when I saw these at the front of the store. You can get this on Amazon for about $22 on sale. It is super cute. Now you're going to grab yourself a lanyard. Yes, we have a couple of color options here. We have a nice bright hot pink. We have boring black, although I love all things black. And then head on over to the organizing section. There's a couple items that you're going to want to grab here. You certainly could grab one of these three tier shelves, although they are not my favorite. How about this riser? Make sure that the end of your riser is on there. When I saw them at my Dollar Tree, a couple were popped off. Of course, we're not going to use this as a riser. You certainly could and then a long handled toilet brush no you are not going to be cleaning your toilet with this this is going to come in so handy drying this water bottle how are you going to do it you're going to flip over your riser and put a towel underneath and you can see that there is still air to allow it to dry more quickly i've been doing this for over a week now and it has worked perfectly when it comes to washing this mammoth beast of a water bottle you can even dry the straw more quickly now look at these cute reusable snack bags they also have sandwich bags. I showed this one in a previous video, but I was able to pick up some snack bags and then our DIY power wash. I have shared this recipe in previous videos. I use this all around my house. I love using it to clean these reusable snack bags because it is so quick and easy and that's what mama loves. And can I just say many of you have commented and said that you love this as well. I'm going to link this in the description box below that you can have these free labels available to you, but you could also use this riser to dry your sandwich bags, your snack bags, anything that you want to dry more quickly. This is such a great way to do that. You do not need to buy an Amazon bottle organizer. Now look at the side of this water bottle. You can see there's sort of a, an area for a clip here and we're definitely going to make good use of that. You certainly could clip it on both sides if you wanted to, but look at this. This lanyard is holding this water bottle. Now you can take this to and fro and anywhere you want to go and now you are hands-free. I don't recommend it swinging around your neck, especially if it's full. You might pass out, but would you like a drink if you're thirsty? Yes? How about in your car? This beast is just going to tip over, especially if you are a wild driver like me, and it certainly doesn't fit in any of your cup holders. Where are you to put this? Well, this lanyard is going to be your very own seatbelt in your car. You certainly could put it in the seatbelt if you wanted to. It's quite large. It's quite heavy, but the lanyard works great. This little carrying basket I actually got on Timu and I showed it in a previous video, but it fits perfectly in there so that it does not tip over when mama hits some bumps yelling at kids in the back seat to be quiet so I can concentrate on the road. This is the video that I'm referring to. I will link that in the description box below for you. This water bottle has been on quite a few adventures. For all of my sweaty home workouts and also at the pool. Did you ever watch I Dream of Jeannie growing up or maybe Bewitched? I know I love it. She just like wiggled her nose. And I Dream of Jeannie was like that really beautiful blonde chick showing up at that guy's house whenever he needed it. I mean, nowadays if a hot chick shows up at your husband's home, it's got a very different meaning to it. But we need to keep this rated G. We're about to make cleaning more fun and more efficient. You're gonna head on over to the automotive section in your local Dollar Tree, take your pick. We have a hot green or a very beautiful blue. And then you can grab yourself some vinegar if you just need a little. Distilled white vinegar is what I recommend for this particular project. You can also use Dollar Tree cleaning vinegar. And then this furniture polish, I love this. It smells amazing, but I do have a hack for you in just a second. If you're not sure how to wash these microfiber towels, the instructions are right there in the back. Be sure not to use any sort of fabric softener if you want this to last longer. Let's go ahead and put on our mitts, of course, not to wash a vehicle because why would we do 
things that they're intended for. You could buy something like this on Amazon for about $15. Get a grip on dust. Well, we're getting a grip on our wallets now, aren't we? You can see that I'm running out of this furniture polish because I love it so dearly. This is such an immersive experience. Look at how much square footage I am able to cover with two hands. Let me know in the comments box below, do you dust with two hands? Have you ever thought of dusting with two hands at the same time? Oh, yep, that's a Dollar Tree gem that I made in the last video. Still have it, loving it to hold my candle, but not only does this make it shiny, it smells amazing. You get the job done faster. You're loving it. You're having the time of your life. Well, at least I was. I hope that you will too. Now, here's the real test when it comes to these microfiber car washing gloves. Can I clean? clean my stairs and banister more quickly. And I will say I was able to get in all those nooks and crannies very quickly. How about some vents? This one gets really nasty. I love it because you can really get in there with your fingers. Now you don't have to wear gloves. You have the glove, you have the microfiber all at once. If you're not sure how to take a screenshot on your phone, here are the instructions because you're going to need it here in just a second. Pause this video at any point. We're going to make our very own dust repellent spray. You're going to love this. I also have a label for you. Again, I will have all of those linked in the description box below. This is a Dollar Tree bottle. Now, this all-purpose cleaner, I like it. I'll talk about it a little bit more later. And you're also going to grab some essential oil. Now, granted, it's not essential oil. It is a fragrance oil sort of dupe. You can add this if you want to for the recipe that we are going to be using, but those black bottles are great to reuse, especially if you're using fragrance oil or essential oil. Here's that cleaning vinegar. I love this. I actually just used it to descale my cure rag. You're going to want to use a little less than eight ounces of water if you're using the small Dollar Tree bottle. And then of course the Sabatel fabric softener smells so delicious. Now, if you are not team fabric softener, you can grab yourself some olive oil instead. And this is just some Dollar Tree dish soap. Just a little drop or two. Swirl it around. Do not shake this or it's going to get all sudsy and foamy inside your bottle. Just swirl it. Any sort of DIY recipe, it's always a good idea to swirl it. Now, this worked amazing. It sprayed really, really fast on my stair rail. I could go around and clean this very quickly. I hate doing this. It just seems so tedious and time consuming. But now, it's actually fun. I should have went in there with two hands when it came to cleaning this. But look at how shiny that is. That is no streaks, no residue left over from this recipe. It works fantastic. And here is that beautiful chic label that is going to be free for you. When I have fun cleaning products that look pretty, it makes me more excited to use them. These are the sticker labels that I recommend using if you're going to print these out on your own. Next, we're going to make things real beautiful on a budget. Oh, fun fact, whenever I go into clients' homes and organize, I almost always try to find clearance items, on sale items, or thrifted items that are high quality. Beauty and budget can go hand in hand. I don't know why I did this, but I can. Get ready. I hope I can give you all the organization motivation that you need. Dollar Tree has so many different bins, so many bins. Hold on. I'm going to show you this one in just a second that I just circled. But check out this tray. We got some turtles. We got some other cute ones. I actually use this in a pantry organizing project. We're going to use it here today. I made something similar in a previous video, but Dollar Tree has their very own cute ones. Now you may see these trays sort of in the party section at your local Dollar Tree. I would advise against them because they are sharp, a little bit jagged on the bottom. So it's going to scratch up whatever surface you put this on. This will make more sense here in just a second. But you want to make sure that you have a smooth surface. Check out this closet. I know this is my dirty little secret. Well, it's not really a secret anymore. You have insider information, but this is a cleaning closet. This is a craft closet. This is a gift bag closet. It is so many different things up in here. We got hair supplies, basically anything that we need to access and grab. So my first line of attack was I needed to touch every single item in this closet. And then I went ahead and got some of these clear Dollar Tree bins. My kids don't get into this stuff, so I'm okay with using the Dollar Tree bins, but I'm gonna show you something here in just a second. It cracked. Yes, of course, this is always happening with these bins. So just be very careful when you are using Dollar Tree bins like this one to not put heavy products. I'm going in with this all-purpose Dollar Tree cleaner. You can see my husband in the background. Yes, we have fun when we are cleaning, organizing, and filming these videos. It takes me about 
about a week actually to film one of these videos. You can see here in the back, I have all kinds of black marks. I thought if I'm going in, I'm going all in and I'm going to clean these up. Dollar Tree actually sells magic erasers and they are a better deal at Dollar Tree than you would find on Amazon. And believe it or not, I actually got a rid of three bags of items for donation or recycling. But these trays are amazing for all of my candles. I can easily slide them in and out to access the candles in the back. It keeps them contained. It looks beautiful. These are lemon citrus trays. I showed a DIY version of this in a previous video, but perfect for Dollar Tree. You could buy this on Amazon for $25, but why would you do that? Here's the after. Look at this. This probably took me a good solid two hours to go through everything in here. I wanted consistency. I wanted it to look beautiful in here. I wanted stations for everything. On the left hand side is all of my kids stuff. We got the wrapping section. We got cleaning supplies. In this organizer, this four cube organizer are actually puzzles and games. Everyone can get what they need. I got rid of a ton of different things that I just had in here from previous videos that I wasn't using, but all on a budget. I hope that you are motivated. And yes, it's a week later. My closet still looks this nice and organized. When you got a good system in place, it makes it much easier. Now I have seen these at the Dollar Tree for the past few weeks and I just didn't know what I was going to use them for and I didn't want to buy them just to buy them but I have a really clever solution for you so how you use them is you can just slide these sort of handle things in and out in order to stack them on top of each other so you could use this in a craft room I think that would be a great way to use it but I got something very different for you that you may have not thought of or seen before but it works really great in my family. Here's my laundry room. Look at this. You look, you're like, Andrea, that looks organized. That looks clean. But let me just show you a little bit something. Yeah, behind the door, here's all the clothes that I stack up over the week. I'm almost always on top of my laundry game. However, it's folded here on the shelf for a couple of reasons that I will share with you. Every Sunday, I put all of these clothes away or my husband or my kids. But if I just put these back in the drawer, my son would continue to wear this shirt every day because it's clean. My daughter would wear these pajamas every day. My other daughter would wear that shirt. They wear the same things over and over. However, I want them to circulate through their clothes. I mean, moving forward, really all they each need is like three t-shirts because, well, I know how it goes. I like to wear the same things, but look at this. Dollar Tree has made my laundry room more organized. Now I can stack it in these bins. I actually had to go back and buy two more for my other girls. That way now when we are putting laundry away, we just have to grab one of these baskets. We don't have to make trips. We don't need massive laundry baskets for each person's clothes. Not only are we making people independent, but it's making my job easier and I have more room to fold things. Now I have bought these bins twice. You can see here, I use them in my pantry on Amazon. So you are saving yourself a ton of money I've shared before I love to thrift once a week and I found these beautiful tall baskets. It was exactly what I was looking for and I was willing to pay $10.99 for each of these. A lot of times at Goodwill the prices are too high and it makes me it makes me crazy. Let me know if you can relate to this one. Whenever I bring home a thrifted item I always like to vacuum it out. This Timu vacuum is amazing. I shared it in this video. I will link it in the description box below but I really do need a holster for that. One of you made that comment because it works in so many different places and it is so stinking powerful. I'm obsessed with this. I'm absolutely obsessed. And then you're going to grab yourself a shoe brush. It is just soft enough when you're cleaning a basket such as this one. And then I went in with the all-purpose cleaner just to spray it out, clean it out, get any crud on there. When I've cleaned previous baskets that I have thrifted, I was so surprised how dirty they were. But then when I looked at my white kitchen towel, I was like, oh, good thing I actually went in and cleaned all all of that out but I just sprayed this all over now if you're looking for an alternative solution because I will say the spray is nice but it's got a watered down scent and if you do not mind that then you'll love the spray you you may like this disinfecting spray but I'm going to share a little something with you about this spray maybe it's just me something weird has happened with this spray but this is the before of my laundry room now check out these baskets yes we're accessing that vertical space it's something that I always talk about it and it looks so beautiful in here and it works and it functions I love it I love the tall handle I can just easily pull it in 
and out. I can save my back. I don't have to do as much bending over. I hate front loading washing machines and dryers, but that's what we have. And so I just want to save myself uh, just a little more effort, I guess, if you will say. Now, this is my downstairs basement. This is another dirty little secret. These are all of my organizers that I collect, that I buy, that I just have on back stock for when I do projects. And I just, I don't, I like to have them handy, but they've taken over my basement. I do have a storage closet here. I know you're probably alarmed like Andrew Jean, what is all that stuff? We moved about a year and a half ago and so there's some things we're not ready to get a rid of yet. So I needed to access again that vertical space. So I actually got this organizer on Walmart at such a good deal. This is taller than me and I am five foot seven and this was the easiest thing in the world to put together. I was able to do this project when I had two little kids at home and they're just bopping around in the basement with me. So I didn't have to put a ton of time and attention to putting it together, but look at how nice my basement looks. That actual desk over there is, is for sale or for free, <laughs> TBD. But here's the new storage closet. Now I can store all of my organizing supplies more neatly and I can easily access them moving forward. This has made me so excited. Hopefully I'm giving you even more organizing motivation after seeing this. Those are those Dollar Tree goodies that I showed you previously. So moral of the story is if you do not thrift, go to the thrift store once a week and you can use Dollar Tree items to clean them. This is the wall in my bedroom. It just needed a little extra something, a little extra love. So I found these, yes, thrifted. And they're only $2.99 a piece. I actually bought four of them. They are so beautiful. They go with my bedroom bedroom decor. It really warms everything up and adds some texture to our bedroom. And if this is your first time here, this is the other side of my bedroom that you cannot see, but look at how beautiful this looks. It's chic. It's beautiful. It's warm. It's just the right perfect. Now I can store this other one in my organizing shelf that I may use on a later project. I've seen these baskets at Dollar Tree for about a week or so, so they are new to me. Again, didn't know what I was gonna use it for. I didn't just wanna buy it, but there are a couple of patterns at my Dollar Tree. They had the black and white one and the blue one, and then this, oh my word, I went to two different Dollar Trees and there were only a couple of these pop can organizers left, so I snatched them. So if you see them, grab them. I've seen similar baskets on Amazon for $33 for this set, heck to the no, and then the pop can organizers. I actually own this. Yeah, $19 for two of these babies. I can't even believe it. But look at this on the back of it. It's raised for a very particular reason. I didn't realize this until I brought it home. Come to mama. You put your pop can in there and it just rolls right to you for a tasty beverage of your choice. This is the downstairs refrigerator where we keep all of our beverages such as this but look at how much more organized this is just by getting that cardboard out of there and just for what 375 to organize these pop cans we do not have a linen closet in my girls bathroom or in my bathroom so I have to get creative when it comes to storing towels perfect this is gorgeous I love this and in fact the only towel that my daughter ever really uses is the green one and again it's always washed when she needs to access it next but it has a nice handle on it and I have some extra towels in there just in case there's a flood just kidding just in case for whatever reason we need more towels in the bathroom but I am loving this this is perfect for a dollar twenty five ain't no da -da 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 -da. so fresh and so clean clean I don't know any other words of that song but I do know that so uh, this is what our next hack's gonna be called. It's kind of like that song by Hanson. Mm bop dip dap da do wop do da da blah 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 blah. I don't know any of the words other than mm bop. Mm 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 mm. Erica asks, I love your videos. How do I get smells out of a shaggy rug? I also have a dog. I know a thing or two about this one. I love this fresh linen carpet deodorizer from the Dollar Tree. It smells awesome. This is the rug I'm going to be changing out in my entryway. It gets a lot of moisture, a lot of traction. It doesn't go with my decor. It's purple. You can see here the vibe of my home is more blue, airy, and beachy. So I ordered this rug off of Walmart. It's the Lololi brand. I may be mispronouncing that, but I I buy these rugs all the time. In a previous video, I showed these Dollar Tree glass wipes and they are crap when it comes to cleaning glass, but I used it to clean around my baseboards and back in there where that bench was and it has worked 
perfectly. And look at this nice new rug in here. Sometimes new rugs can have a funny smell to them from the factory, but this definitely goes with my decor much better than the purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle down some of this carpet deodorizer. I love it because it has baking soda. If you have a lot of smells in your carpet, you're going to want to let this sit for like hours. Let that baking soda absorb any moisture that is trapped inside your rug and then go ahead and vacuum it up. Now this spray disinfectant, here's the thing about it. It leaves sort of a lingering weird after smell. So what I do recommend instead is this Otoban Fresh Linen. I use this all over my house. No joke. Dollar Tree actually sells the eucalyptus of the Otoban in small bottles and bigger bottles in the $5 and $3 section. Now I like to spray this in my mudroom area because again lots of traction. This works great on furniture and I even spray all of our shoes in the morning. It just gives them a nice fresh scent and kills any bacteria that is housed within them. This is my kitchen runner. Again, it gets a ton of traction. We got a lot of people in and out of this house, but I got this weird stain that's been sitting on here for a couple weeks. So I've been waiting for the perfect video to take it out with you. I feel like I've become quite of a stain removal expert here. This is the recipe that we are going to be using. This is from a professional carpet and rug cleaner. Now I just used a label here. Again, this will be included with the free label that is in the description box below but swirl it around spray the area very well I'm going in with the Bissell green machine this was a new purchase it's a number one bestseller on Amazon I thought to myself well I need to absolutely try this and it works fantastic you just need some sort of extraction tool that's the key when it comes to removing stains you need to extract it and you can see here the stain is coming up very nicely with no scrubbing little to no effort just a couple sprays and extract that stain away so not only will all these tips and tricks help you make your carpet smell amazing, they're going to remove any lingering stains on them, how difficult it may be. Remember that bench in my entryway? Yep, up against the wall, it left this black mark of some sort. I don't know what this is. Handprints, dirt from kids coming in and out. So again, going in with that stain removal spray and then extracting this baby away. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you something here that's really disgusting and satisfying all at the same time. There's a reason I have white furniture. Well, one, you can really see all the dirt that needs to be cleaned up, which is a blessing and a curse all at the same time. But I was appalled here in just a minute, but you can see this bench is looking really nice. It's a little roughed up on the fabric again because it was pushed against that wall where people come in and out and take their shoes on and off, but it is looking fantastic. So four kids up and down on these couches, we do not eat on these couches. They get so nasty and dirty and I can see it. So it forces me to clean clean it. I actually cleaned these couches 10 times over a period of a week. Every morning I would go in and spray down this and then I would extract with my little green machine. If I had brown couches, I probably would not be doing this as often because I can't see the dirt. So that's why I like white couches because it forces me to keep them cleaner for longer. My couches are looking like brand new now and I will say this was very therapeutic each morning to just go in and clean this up and see how much dirt I could extract from my couches. I'm just appalled but it, something about this was so satisfying you got to let me know in that comments box below if you can relate to any of this look at this every time I would do this on my couches it would look like this and I did this until the water came out basically clear on both of these couches it's telling me I need to keep up with this a little bit better than I have been doing now you may be asking yourself should I buy the Bissell or the little green machine I own both of these and I've done a video on the spot clean pet pro in my opinion save yourself the money and if you are going to get something I would go with the little green machine. On the same lines of so fresh and so clean clean and extraction I wanted to try these scented oil warmers from the Dollar Tree. You think it's funny when I say the Dollar Tree when I got it from Dollar Tree and here's what I have to say about this. I don't know if it was just mine but it's been leaking oil over the past couple weeks onto my countertop and it was such a pain to get this oil out of its container. So I probably will not be buying these again. However, I do love the oil. I'm going to show you a little trick that I like to use it for better in, better than the plug-in. So this is my shark vacuum. I love using this in my car, but I'm going to take this filter out and I actually like to dab some of this fresh linen on there because you know vacuum cleaners can get all stinky. I've tried the beads. I actually purchased some vacuum specific beads from Amazon. I will be showing you in an upcoming video whether those work well or not, but the downy unstoppables didn't really do a darn thing. If you really want a nice smell in your vacuum, you're going to want to try something like this. You could use a little 
essential oil. You could use any sort of oil that you want to, but everything is just coming up really nicely. We eat in the car because again, from the hours of like four until eight, I'm basically schlupping kids around in the car and we're eating food and eating dinner. And a lot of times I don't want to bust out my shop bag, the big shop bag with the extension cord and do the whole to-do. So I just suck it up in here. In a previous video, Patricia asked, how do you remove blood from carpeting? And I shared this recipe. I can go ahead and screenshot this. This is just using some dish soap and hydrogen peroxide, but the Folex also works great. But this time I'm going to really show you how this works so well when it comes to removing blood. Yes, it was amateur hour here in my shower. I cut myself shaving after almost, I don't know, 20 some years of shaving. I'm still cutting myself. It looks like a massacre in here. But what a perfect opportunity to show you how well this Folix works. Normally I would bleach my whites, put them all together and put it on the hottest setting that we could. But I just wanted to demonstrate this product in just a normal quick cycle. And the nice thing about this is it's non-magnetic, which means that the spot will not reappear after you've cleaned it. A lot of times if you're using cleaners for your couches or your rugs, they are magnetic and the stain reappears and tracks more junk. You see here, I'm putting the top in with all of the colors. We got a warm setting and I always do a quick wash with all of my clothing no matter what it is. Coming out of the washing machine the stains are completely gone. But let's go ahead and just dry this up so that you can see. Look at that. All gone. No dabbing, no extraction, no rubbing. I just put it on there and I didn't even let it sit. Just the time to, took me to put it into the washing machine with the other items of clothing. Now I've been using this downy wrinkle guard shield, whatever you want to call it, for a couple weeks now and I'm going to be coming up with my own DIY version. So I just want to demonstrate this to you. I like to save time when it comes to ironing and steaming and the downy works great but I want a new DIY option so stay tuned for that one. I have your comment that poo spray should not be spelled P-O-O-H. It should be spelled poo. P-O-O. However, you're going to be happy as Winnie the Pooh after this one. By the way, when you take your number twos, if you are not using wet wipes, assuming that you can in your toileting situation, you need to be. These, these are amazing. Why did I go most of my adult life using toilet paper? You don't wipe a baby's butt with toilet paper. You're going to treat your butt now like a baby's bottom. And by the way, these do smell really nice and compare very nicely to these. Mm -hmm. I know we're getting up close and personal here today about things. That's it. This might be one of my favorites. You can buy these Cottonelle wipes on Amazon and they're about 28 cents per wipe. But at Dollar Tree on the end caps, I found these flushable wipes, 36 in a pack. Technically, you're only supposed to use one of these at a time when you flush. And in full disclosure, I've used more than that and haven't run into any issues, but just be advised about that one. But these are great. You can actually clean the outside of your Dollar Tree cart. It fits perfectly in your purse, which is more compact. You can clean the outside of your purse if you wanted to, if you're like me spilling coffee walking around the Dollar Tree. But how about for cleaning the inside of your car? This worked amazing. I'm gonna show you a product here towards the end that does not work well, that you are not gonna to wanna to buy in my experience. But look at how easily it dries. You can just see that moisture dissipating, basically like magic, look at that. That is awesome. That is what you want. That makes it so that you do not have all these streaks when you are cleaning the inside of your car. These are just gonna reside in the goodie bag in my car. It looks like a big mess, but it works. I can grab everything that I need. The kids can grab it. How about on stainless steel? Butt wipes on your stainless steel? Believe it or not, this works better than actual cleaners that I have used that are for stainless steel steel. It's amazing because it dries so quickly. I think that's a nice thing and has the perfect amount of little grit. It's not going to tear up your butt, by the way. That's good to know. That's very soft. It has such a nice scent, not too overpowering, but you can clean the inside of your refrigerator really quick. Of course, Lysol wipes work, but these are so affordable. Look at all this fingerprints that it is getting off. I don't know how fingerprints get on the inside of the store. Do we not use the fridge handles around here? But look at that. Two wipes. This is where they are hidden. If you're ever in my house and need to take Take it number two. I want to give a huge shout out to all of those who have contributed super thanks or PayPal or Venmo to help me grow this channel. And fun fact, it allows me to do organizing projects in my clients' homes 100% for free. Yes, yes, you bring the goodness to me and I recirculate it back into the world. 
other than buying Dollar Tree $5 items. A huge personal shout out to Elena, Sarah, Donna as always, Patricia, Madonna, Colony Cove Art Club, Gwen, SMMB. I appreciate you so, so much. The goodness that you give to me, I share with others. And in fact, it allows me to go into people's homes and organize for free my time, all of the product, just make their day, make their lives a little bit easier. All of these videos I did for free. And when I organize a closet, sometimes it can add up to thousands of dollars depending upon the type of product that I need. And that does not even include my time. So thank you. Thank you so much. Every little bit counts. I love doing this. It brings me so much joy and I know that it brings other people joy and hopefully you get motivation to organize within your home or a little just a little extra smile on your face. And if you're looking for some pantry organization motivation, this is a pantry that's going to be coming up probably next week for you, but we transform this and when I say we, me and my husband and I do these together. This is absolutely amazing. It was done on a budget. It looks so good. It's functional. It will be easy to maintain for my clients so make sure that you are subscribed so that you do not miss out on this amazing refresh you like saving money oh, of course you do so do I so here is a quick trick to make your shoes look like brand new save yourself money they look nice again you fall in love with them again 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 this is a fun little trick you may have never seen before. You're gonna grab yourself a tea light or really any candle for that matter. Dollar Tree has some fun scented tea lights. We got a lavender and of course all things fresh linen. You do not need these scented ones for what I'm about to show you, but I just noticed those and they're cool. Look at all this. This Velcro on here is coming off. You can do this with curtains. You can do this with shoes. You can do this with anything that has Velcro on it that is falling apart and needs a little extra love, a little extra repair. I'm just going to take this candle. Yes, that is from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to light it with my Dollar Tree lighter. Nothing in this video is sponsored. Dollar Tree does not pay me to say this, but you're just going to light that Velcro on fire just a little bit, just a little bit so that it tames itself down and becomes a bit more sticky. Look at this right here. This is looking unsightly. This is my two and a half year old's shoe. And of course they get a lot of love and wear and tear at daycare, but it looks like brand new. That took me seconds, but look at how dirty these shoes are as well so let's take care of that yes you can buy yourself a dollar tree laundry mesh bag and wash them in your laundry but sometimes you don't want to go through all that and you just want to get your shoes wind up so grab yourself some hydrogen peroxide a little bit of dish soap and a veggie brush from the dollar tree no we're not using this for veggies i love it for cleaning shoes and if you have shoes that are dirtier than this, you can actually use a magic eraser from Dollar Tree rather than this veggie brush. I did it on my sandals that I've been wearing every day in the summer for three years. They're blowfish sandals. They're my favorite. They go with everything, but they get real dirty around the sole. And I used the magic eraser and it worked great. But look at all this dirt that I got off from the bottom. And this in real time probably took me, I don't know, three to five minutes, but I was filming and setting up the camera. So take time away from that. And then I just rinse it off with a little warm water. But look at how nice and new those look you could also do this on the top of your shoes but I wanted these to dry more quickly so that my daughter could wear them in some previous videos I showed you how to zip and unzip your own dress your own jumpsuit I can't talk today I think it's all this water I swear it's just water in here I showed you how you can take a paper clip to zip up your dress I've also showed you a really cool Amazon product to help you zip and unzip your dress, but this one, this one might beat them all. Remember that lanyard that I showed you previously that we use for our water bottle around our house and out and about? Well, you can really use this in a lot of different places. How about a flashlight? You're going camping, rather than having to carry this around or wrap it around your wrist, now you are hands-free with your lanyard yes i know a lot of you love camping so i wanted to share that one how about this zipper getting back to what i had alluded to the zipper is tiny and this lanyard fits around that now it may be a little bit tricky to get it back on if you need to unzip yourself 
especially because the zipper is so tiny, but it works. What if, this is a little bit strange, but what if you have issues with your back? You could just pull your hamper to wherever you need to unload your clothing. Do you have curtains that like to drag on the ground? Yes, I do. This should actually be raised up, but I have not changed it out. It was there when we moved in. I just took my curtains and hung it on there, but you can lift up your curtain so that you can vacuum underneath much easier. A little bit strange, but it works. We're gonna finish channel here on YouTube and I I love to work out, so I always got a speaker and music sitting outside. I mean, I love music all day, every day. So if I can find a speaker at a good price that actually works, I'm very surprised. I own this JBL speaker, about $60. I don't know if we paid that much, but that is the current price on Amazon. And I have tried some Dollar Tree speakers in the past that did not work. So I was a little bit leery about this one. We got red, we got blue, it lights up, it looks cool. Does it work? Power on. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. By golly, it works amazing and it looks so cool. This is in my bathroom. Now I cannot tell you how long it lasts yet, but stay tuned in terms of running time and hours. According to the packaging, it has a long lasting battery, but does that mean an hour? Does that mean four hours? So stay tuned. And you can see here comparison side by side, it's comparable in size to the JBL speaker. Now you can't clip it, but it certainly looks super cool and fun. Ooh, I love some steals and deals. In a previous video, I showed you how you can clean your makeup brushes and I did dry it straight up and down. And many of you had said you need to dry it upside down, which in fact is true. However, I own one makeup brush and I never had any issues with it rotting the, the handle of the brush. But if you have a lot of brushes and you run into issues with your brushes, water dripping down and draining, I mean, you gotta wring them out really well. So that's that's a big part of it. If you got all this excess, excess water in the brush, yes, of course it's gonna run down and ruin the handle. But I digress. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. You're on the NBN and you're thinking, thank God, Andrea, just get into it. Check out this silicone makeup brush. It's about $5 for one of these. You may have seen other YouTubers rave about this. Yes, it is cool for $1.25. I have a couple of tricks when it comes to this that failed. So I will share those with you. But you can see here, I'm gonna stick this on my bathroom mirror. I didn't think that I was gonna stick very well to my flat paint. But for a week straight, the right side of this would just keep falling down and falling down. So it's just probably this particular suction cup. So when you are at Dollar Tree, if you are gonna buy this, because it is really a steal, and a deal it holds a ton of brushes just check the suction cups i would try them out in the store so that you do not come across this jerry says put a little petroleum jelly on there also family handyman says that you should do this again i would not do this on my flat paint because it would leave a greasy oily mess so i took a little vaseline and i'm like let's see what happens it actually just slides down really quickly like this seemed like a big mess and it didn't work so maybe i put a little bit too much on there. Let me know if this has worked for you. I like this suggestion, but I just wasn't having any luck with the vast lane. So I'm like, you know what? I knew this was clean already. Let's just put a little water on there. Sometimes it just needs a little moisture. And I have tried hairspray in the past and that does work pretty well, better than all of these things that I'm showing you here. But again, this just, it was just a sad right side and it just wouldn't stick. And here's the nice thing about it though. I have one makeup brush. Yes, I only own, well, I own two makeup brushes, one for blush and one for eyeshadow. I can still get it to stick in there. Yeah, on both sides of this. So I think this is definitely a great deal, but just a couple of things to look out for. And a couple bonus items. I wanted to try out these $5 options just to see if they were worth it or not in your home. Let me just say this. I do not like rugs in a bathroom because hair gets on them, skin drops on them, they get all filthy. Now you gotta clean the rug and you gotta clean the floor like it just becomes a whole to do. And many times people are not cleaning those rugs as often as they should and then, trust me, I've been in homes and you step on the little mats and rugs, they look cute but they're dirty, okay? They house moisture and they get smelly. So I wanted to try this Dollar Tree option out because I stand when I get ready in the morning. I needed a solution when it comes to bathing two small children almost every single day in the summer. This is actually a kitchen 
mat, but I'm not using it in my kitchen. Anti-fatigue, that sold me right there. What's nice about this is you're just gonna wipe this down with a damp cloth. I would use my DIY power wash or a Lysol wipe to clean it, but it was really nice on my knees. I have to say I tried it out here of what would happen. I love it also when I'm getting ready in the morning. Now it doesn't stick to the floor. It is a little bit slippery. So if you want it to be non-slip, you're gonna to wanna to use some frog tape or something like that. Ah! next one I was so excited about and hopeful for you know when Dollar Tree has a name brand item and you think yes I'm getting a steal of a deal this is gonna solve the problem because it's a better product but then you get the product and you're like just disappointed armor roll wipes oh boy got excited about this as always when i see things at dollar tree that i have not seen before i thought this is going to be great i did a price comparison and it was cheaper at dollar tree 12 cents compared to 18 cents on amazon per wipe and it's smaller in size which i love when i go to the car wash they'll give you a dash wipes and i never take them because they leave streaks all over the inside of your car and it drives me insane i know it's a great concept but i just i rather deal with the dust in the car than all the streaks inside the car if that makes any sense so you can see here i have these water spots i drink a lot of coffee and waters in here it's pretty gross so let's try out these armor all wipes now at first glance i'm thinking wow this is shiny this is working great inside here but as it dries it's very streaky can you see all these streaks sorry for all the bumps we were on the way to a client's house to do an organizing project and why not clean the inside of my car all at the same time so i prefer the butt wipes that i showed you previously look at all these streaks inside here no good Okay, one thing, I forgot to bring it up here. They have some really good products right now at the Dollar Tree. I'm talking gold and green and beautiful, and it was only $1.25. I'm surprised it was not in the $5 section, but maybe it will be next week. So make sure that you subscribe, turn on those notification bells so that you can see, hmm, I feel like I need to get it for you. I just can't talk about it. I gotta show you. Okay, I'll do it, one second. Okay. Here we are, are you ready? Dun dun dun, introducing Dollar Tree's very only, by the way, Dollar Tree is not paying me, the Pristine Collection. Look at this, this green and this gold, this is gorgeous. Let's just take a peek here. Made in China. I'm pretty sure most of the products coming from Dollar Tree are made in China. So if you're not opposed to that and you wanna see some really clever organization and cleaning products, click this video on screen now but if you want to see seven smart home hacks click this video thumbs up subscribe and i will see you my friend in the next one